Oh my gosh. You know, I just got a revelation. Because I was thinking, uh, like I always am, okay? And I was talking to myself as I'm always am, okay? Oh my gosh, bro. All my life. I wondered what I'm here for. And then... I knew some of my talents were. I knew what I liked. I knew what I didn't like. Okay? I, I didn't like being forced to do what everybody else was doing. And I, I knew that that wasn't my route. I knew that that wasn't my place. Um, and so it irked the hell out of me. The more I did that, the more miserable I was. Okay? Um, and I couldn't shake it. I couldn't... I couldn't um, I don't even know why I'm recording on my phone. It's more it's more easier for me to record on my phone so that way I can just like move around. And, but sometimes I will record on a microphone. But for now I'm recording on my phone for some reason. <laughs> I wanted to do it on my phone. All right, um, bro, I was in my head, and I'm like, you know, I always wondered what because this world we're groomed into this mentality, this 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 false reality of materialism okay in capitalism money like bruh everything we're taught is is about either money material things things of this physical um world but it has nothing to do with how you treat people it has nothing to do with matters of the heart Okay, but yet at the same time, it's creating hatred, it's creating envy, it's creating domination, it's creating all of this chaos, it's creating cold hearts, okay? Because it doesn't focus on the heart, it doesn't focus on how you treat your neighbor and all of creation no the focus is taken off of that and put on money and materialism social status and all of these trivial things that's what this whole world and pretty much 95 percent of the people upon this earth that's what they're focused on okay they're in survival, okay? They're focused on their survival and these trivial things, which the survival part is, is a part of that trivial shit, bro. It's, it was forced upon you by the same people that has taken your focus off of how you treat people and off of matters of the heart, okay? So because you're not focused on the matters of the heart and how you treat people and you've been forced to survive by slaving for a living by working for someone else, either working for someone else or blazing your own path. That's the only two options that we were offered. Okay, so what started this out for me was because I was thinking, I knew that slaving for someone else was not for me, though I was forced to do it. And the more that I did it, I was miserable because I knew it was in my path. But at the same time, I was so confused because I didn't know what the hell my path was. I was poor. I didn't have any money. So how am I supposed to start up my own business? I was impoverished. I didn't have any resources. I didn't have anything to like, I didn't have any cushion to like get started with anything. Now though I have tons of ideas, I had no methodology and no understanding of how to bring about all the ideas that I had, okay? Um, I felt 
stuck and encaged because it was a lack of understanding, a lack of direction, a lack of all of these things. And the reason for that was because I didn't know my maker. I thought that I did. Okay, but I only knew the God that I was taught. Okay, I was taught about God. And so that's the deity that I thought I knew. Okay, having no understanding um, that the God that I was taught to believe in was actually Satan, the God of this world, the God of Christianity. The God of all of your religions is Lucifer. You know, the one who said he would set himself up like the Most High. Well, see, I didn't have any understanding. I ain't know none of that, okay? <clears throat> so all throughout my life, I wonder, what, well, what the hell am I supposed to do? It drove me mad, okay? It drove me so crazy. Because though I knew that going the route that I was being forced to go by my family and by society, you know, everybody looking down upon me and calling me lazy, putting all of these stigmas and labels upon me simply because I did not want to do what they were forcing me to do, it didn't mean I was lazy bruh no I I knew that I was here for something else but I didn't know what okay but you wouldn't allow me the time to figure that out no see there's so much was going through my head bro and I'm gonna do my best to try to bring all of this out okay I'm, I'm gonna do my best to bring all of this out because that was in my mind but then at the same time it's like bruh Living my life in this world, in this reality, this constructed reality, having no understanding that this was Satan's kingdom, okay? And that now, now that I've gotten to know my maker, bro, how he has given me so much understanding. And it's filled in the missing pieces. And it is actually what has led and guided me to my life's path. This was guided me to my purpose. So my life path has literally been led to my life's purpose. Okay. And my journey, um, there was a reason for everything. Okay. It's like. Everything was ordained, okay? And this this is so crazy because I had all of these questions growing up. And and when I was forced to work these damn jobs that I hated so much, you know, I didn't like being under someone's thumb. I didn't like being under the authority of other mortals. I didn't like that. I didn't like having to be awake at a certain time and be in a place at a certain time, day in and day out, bro. Oh my God, I cannot explain to you how pissed off that made me, how angry that would make me, how, oh my God, I couldn't, I hated it, bro. I hated it, hated it, hated it, hated it to the upteenth degree. I hated it, okay? I hated it. And I felt like a slave. I never wanted to do it, okay? And I was forced to do it, okay? I was forced to do it and I hated it, okay? Slaving for my bare necessities, okay? I hated it, but I couldn't explain why I hated it, all right? It wasn't because I was lazy, all right? I wanted to focus on why I was here, okay? What am I here for? I wanted to find that out, okay? No, I didn't like being impoverished. I mean, people talk down on me, like, condescending to me, like, what well, you must love being, you, you, you must like being in, being in poverty, and you cannot depend on other people, you think you can just depend on other people to take care of you, this is the type of things that will be said to me, even to this day, because I get SNAP benefits and all of that, you know, and I live in hard housing, so my family looks at it like, you are being taken care of by the government, no, 
I am on my life's purpose being led on my life's journey, finding out why I'm here. And now, now I know why I'm here. Okay. And bro, all my life, I wondered what my purpose is. Okay. But I didn't know what it was. See, the scripture says to seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness. And then all of these things will be supplied unto thee. Okay? That's what it says. But yet we're not taught that in the church. Oh no. We're taught to obey the laws of your government. Okay, we're taught to give them 10% of your income. They're obeying government mandates. Okay, they are in hand in hand in cahoots with the government. Okay, and this government has been brought to you by Lucifer. Okay, this didn't come from the all power of love and life. The deity that I got to know as I saw the kingdom and all of his righteousness. He is supplying all of these things unto me as I step into my purpose. Okay? It drove me crazy all my life trying to find out, well, how am I supposed to bring about my ideas? If I don't have any resources, how am I supposed to do anything? How can I generate income if I don't have this or that? You know, I get all of these ideas, but no resources, no direction, no none of that. But now, it's very different now. And I am at peace for once in my life. I am at peace. And you want to know what? You want to know how much money I have to my name right now? <laughs> Bruh, you got wealthy ass people that are filthy freaking rich. That are miserable. Okay? And they ain't got no peace. I'm going to log into my cash app right now. I'm going to tell you how much I have in my bank account. It's 18 cent. Okay, let me take a screenshot of this. Let me show you. I have 18 cent. 18 cent in my bank account. And let's see, how long has it been 18 cent in my bank account? Ooh, quite a little bit here. Okay, let's go. Alright, so on February 4th, I have 418. Because, see, my dad has sent me $50. Okay, my dad was generous. For some reason, you know, my dad was generous. Um, when I had that doctor's appointment, okay, so all together, um, the father had blessed me, um, big time for the month of January, okay, so for the month of January, the father blessed me tremendously, okay, uh, there was a hundred dollars that came in from love me some me. Um, there was $50 that came in from a new person that left a message telling me to continue feeding the flock. She gave $50, okay? That's $150. Then my brother Kassad dropped another $50. That's $200. Then my dad gave me $50. Now, about 30 of that was used for the doctor's appointment. Um, and then I, had, I think I had about maybe $20 left over, any, anywhere from 25 to $30 or so, um, uh, was used because, because I had to pay 20 something for the, I think it was 23 or so for 
all the medications. I had to get this uh, cream and my water pills. So all together that came up to 22, but then I also had to pay for the visit. I don't think it was more than 30, so but it was close to about 30. So I had about $20 left over and anyway, so out of the $250 all together, I was able to get everything that I needed, okay? Even down to some Epsom salt, okay? Um So yes, I was I was completely 100% blessed by the Father. All right. So yes, um, let me look and see what is this thing doing. All right. Yeah. So that was on February 4th. Uh, I had 4:18 after going shopping for the things that I needed. Um, then on February 5th. Okay, so I had 418 from February 4th to February 5th, and then February 5th I had 18 cent. Okay. So since February 5th, uh, 18 cent, and today is February 18th, okay? Now I'm logging into my cash app. Give me just a second. Now, I went to the store yesterday. I had 10, okay? I was needing some um, TP. And so I used, out of the $10 that I had, uh, I used that to get TP, all right? And there's $3 left after, after that, okay? So I literally got $3 in my cash app. But yet, I am at peace, 100%. At peace. People think that this is a game or a joke. Bro, this ain't no pretense here, okay? I'm literally living this, alright? And so, um, I'm living on the mercy and the blessings that the Father bestows upon me. I am 100% dependent upon the Father to take care and supply of all my needs and my wants, okay? Because I don't have income. I don't have income. No. And see, back to when I was wondering, how am I to generate income with no resources? He put a revelation in my mind, in my spirit. He's like, 
you're it. It's like, it's all of you. I require you. So, it's like, I give my all to my maker. And allow my maker to shine through me. Okay? That's, in essence, my purpose. Okay? Like... It's no telling what all he is going to use me for. I have no idea. You know? But I'm happy. More so than ever in my life. There's like so much lifted off of me. <sighs> Bruh. The revelation number two that he brought to my spirit was that this is it. This is the end. Okay? And I come from the final generations upon this earth for life as we know it. Okay? Um... We were born, I was born at the tail end of this satanic beast system. Okay? Last night, he gave me a revelation as well. He just reminded me that he popped into my spirit as I was communing with the all power of love and life. And uh, it was like, I was, I was just, I was talking. Um, from my heart and from my spirit and I was just like and all of this was within me okay I was thinking these things I'm like you know and I was even verbalizing them you know outwardly like I'm talking to you and I'm like you know for us to have come through the worst the times of the worst of the heathen being polluted since birth being taught everything against the all power of love and life being taught to focus on all of these superficial things that don't matter and being grateful and thankful that he has had his hand on my life protecting me and shielding me from the wicked from the holy corrupted of heart because I was not I had a pure heart and it, it caused my life to be hell okay but that hell caused me to seek for my maker and find out my purpose and why I'm here. Now, this cat done opened up these cabinets. I'm going to show y'all this because while I'm trying to talk to y'all, and do what it do, my cat is tripping, okay? Now, I done told him over and over and over to not do this, but he keeps doing it. Why you keep doing that? Oh, dang. Lord of mercy. So, I'm not going to stay on here. Sorry to just totally change subject, but, you know, it's real time, okay? 
This is recorded on 2-18-23. I just got done. I just got done creating a video. You need people like me. Especially in these days. Okay? And I have another one. See, <laughs> bruh. I know that there are people that's like, I'm, I'm so tired of hearing you say that you don't plan this. And, bruh, do you understand? I want to create the video, update, talk, and chillaxing. Okay? But for some reason, <laughs> I keep being prompted to get on here and talk to you about some things. And so it keeps pushing these things back. Because not only do I have that, I also have decrease in order to increase by way of the Holy Spirit. Okay? I also have, we're not the ones who changed everything. Okay? And I still have 1029, the world has inherited lies. Okay? Before you get to hear what you're hearing right now, I have another one that has to come your way, entitled... The spirit of truth gives confirmation. Okay? The spirit of truth always gives confirmation. All right? It was recorded on 217. Okay? This was recorded yesterday. All right? So I have to create that video and I'm going to get started on it. All right? But I also recorded this today. Like, I am not planning this. Okay? This is not planned. I'm like, Father, do I not have enough on my plate as it is already? But yet he gives me more and more. And as I look at these, as I complete them, okay? As I complete these things, I'm going to go ahead and show you this, okay? I'm like, dang, it's building up for so-called 2023 now, okay? These completed ones for 2023. This is, uh, th 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 it's early in 2023, okay? It just changed to 2023, and look what all I have accomplished thus far, okay? And this is not even counting everything that I've uploaded so far this month because there was a lot, uh, uh, bruh, since the since I created this 2023 folder, there has been some things in the 2022 folder that I have released, okay? Um since so-called 2023. So anyway, I'm getting ready to upload for you um the you need people like me, especially in these days. And then I'm gonna be working on compelling the spirit of truth gives confirmation okay i might change it to sp the uh spirit of truth always gives confirmation because it does okay and i don't know why i'm i'm constantly prompted to bring these things out before i can get the rest of these things out okay like Bruh, all I can do is be obedient. Shalom.